Hello there friends, Ken here. Welcome back for some more Hearthstone solo adventures. That's right, we're back in for the, the third week of the League of Explorers. That's right, and I guess we're going to jump straight back in where we were at last time, looking for the final piece of the Staff of Origination. So we got the... The, the Rod of the Sun, and then we got this uh, headpiece here, and now we need to get the, I guess like the center jewel, I suppose. We're going to the ruined city. So, without any further ado, let's dive straight back in there. Oh, here we go, burning up the ticket, flying to the ruined city. I wonder who will be our guide this time. The third piece of the staff, the Pearl of the Tides, is in the Pearl of the Tides. Sir Finley's there, but I've Ah, Sir Finley Murgleton himself. There he is. The Murloc Explorer. Great stuff. Let's meet old Finley and see what he has to say. Okay. Here's our first opponent. We're gonna get the huge toad and the gorilla bot A3. The Naga have Finley. Hurry, Explorer. Before he's dead. Oh no, he's been captured already. By Lord Slitherspear of the Naga. Summon a hungry Naga. We haven't really seen too much of the of the Naga uh, particularly. They're going to be summoning guys. So uh, maybe we'd go with the Paladin to start with. Oh, he's got the, uh, the good old Consecrate on our side. I wonder how the, the Naga will function. Uther versus Lord Slitherspear. Hello Lord Slitherspear. Who is... Finley in his little jar. Here invade the ruined city. I will fight with honor. Okay, great stuff. Let's uh, let's save this poor little Murloc chap. Cauldron, taunt, death rattle. Tonight save Sir Finley and stop the Naga onslaught. Greetings, explorer. I seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Could you help a fellow out? <laughs> we'll give you a hand, Finley. Okay, so he's going to summon a hungry Naga. I wonder if... Are they going to try and eat him and we have to... We have to get him out of that jar. Well, Zombie Chow is going to be a good starting card for us then. It's going to let us beat down this cauldron as quickly as possible. Nothing fancy, just a 1-1. One -one. Oh, he's going to freeze us. Oh, that's no good. Righto. Well, thankfully, we got a nice two drop. We'll pop that down. She's going to keep making one ones for for free, just for free. Oh, hang on. Why is this one a two one? What did? Is that? Is this? Are they just going to get stronger every turn? Is that? Is that a thing? I don't know. But it looks like our. Best bet for now is just to get Sir Finley out of there. So, we'll just make a chap. It is. They look, they're getting stronger every turn. That's terrifying. At least they're only one damage. Or one health. So we can, we can always consecrate them out if we get our hands on... Well, we've got our hands on one, so we can we can bop that down this turn. That seems that's probably the play. Um, let's give it a shot. Kabam! Now what happens when we save Sir Finley? Oh, we get we get him now. So we can use him to discover a new basic hero power. It's a fun time. So we'll be able to use this and pick one of the... It will it'll only give us three options, but from all the standard hero powers uh, that we've all come to know and love. The, the classic nine, I believe, are the ones you have options of. Looming Presence. Draw two cards, gain four armor. Little, uh, you know, that's a little strong, but it's not outrageously strong, really. Uh, I don't think that would be too terrifying. It is maybe a little bit too potent for uh, your average card. Okay, well, we're going to make a... If we, we... I guess we could Hero Power, Finley Hero Power, but uh, is that necessarily the best option here? What I might do is I might make a guy 
and then we'll use Finley. I love that he make. I love that. I really like that uh, that little round. Oh man, we got options here. We could we could have a dagger. We have the steady shot. We could have the healing. If you take the steady shot, we can be a bit more aggressive. So not normally considered a very good hero power, but now we're we're on the aggressive. We need to push in on this chap before he gets too strong. Because if he's gonna keep summoning these, uh, I guess no, he's got this enraged power now, so it's a. Uh, not so much of an issue. But uh, we'll try and force him down. Because in fact, that is actually quite good synergy. Because if he's going to keep hitting us with his face, then it makes sense for us to uh, to try and trade off. Now, this guy's a murloc, right? He is a murloc. So, let's see if we can get some synergy rolling. Also, the nice thing here is because we're not making guys, there'll be loads more room for our murlocs. Look at that. A 3-4 now. Thanks to the... The old war leader here. And, um... Man, I don't want to deal with this chap, but, uh... I feel like I have to. Finley! <laughs> Get in there and do your duty, sir. Good job, Finley. He's, uh, he's tackling that ice ridge. He's going pinned in the corner. He's whacking him with his little machete. While we deal with Lord Slither Spear. I like that they had a little bit of canonical dialogue for him, and we didn't just have to like keep him alive the whole time. Now, uh, I think we're going to make more Murlocs here. I think uh, it's a sensible thing to do, especially as we've got a war leader up. Oh, the dream. There it is. Um, man, I kind of almost I almost want to run this war leader in, but uh, it's obviously not the, the right pick here. I think we we knock this in. And then we maybe muster for battle. And uh, that'll let us... Uh, that'll let us take out this chap. Without too much trouble. And we got these... These guys can just be traded in. Or maybe we'll get the, uh, the quartermaster and we can buff them up. Right. We're in a great place. Oh, he's got a big taunt. 3-6 for 5. That's not particularly potent at all, to be honest. So, in fact, I'd say that's kind of a bad card, but there we are. Um, okay, now how do we want to go through this? We've got potentially 8, 9, 10, 11 damage right here on the board already. Plus our 2 here. So, theoretically, well, we're actually maybe one short because we're frozen at the moment. So, uh, we might be just short of, uh, of where we need to be to actually make it through. Maybe what we'll do instead then, is we'll uh, bop that down. We'll trade in here. We'll get this damage off, and then, because we can't attack with our hero and win the game with True Silver Champion, instead, we'll heal this guy up so he's harder to be killed by our chap here. Also, that he's not weak to any kind of big area of effect. Another big taunt. Probably not going to be enough. You can't just keep dropping three sixes and hope to win the game. Mr. Slither Spear. Finley, have you finished with that Ice Rager yet, sir? Come on. We've got places to be. So, uh... I guess let's, let's get to those places. Well, bam! He's back! Oh my gosh, he's a murloc, of course! Uh, and he's not, like, an amazing one to pull, but 1-3 stats is okay. Uh, obviously, you don't get the battle cry, which is a bit of a shame. But there we are! Right, well, get in there, war leader! Well, bam And we did it! I love that he came back! It's like he had actually just finished with the Ice Ranger. That's re that's re I don't think that was... I doubt the game was doing that. But, uh... That was very appropriate, really. The huge toad. I keep thinking he's got a cigar, but it's just like a bloke's foot. And there's his sword down there. It's like something out of Dark Souls. And the gorilla bot A3. You discover a, if you control a mech, discover a mech. Uh, I'm wait, waiting to see when people just like drop gorilla bot, gorilla bot, gorilla bot after having a couple of the uh, the cheap chaps out. 
Uh, the ones that make mechs cheaper. Okay, right. Lead on the way, Sir Finley. Alas, I'd hoped to avoid giant Finn. How well, for glory. Okay, Murloc time it is. <laughs> Draw cards until you have as many in hand as your opponent. Okay, so we're going to want something that's going to bash through our cards. Huh. Well, I guess in that case, it should probably be like a kind of Zoolock deck. And in fact, Zoolock probably quite a decent way to deal with the Murlocs. Because um, we're going to have a lot of stuff out on board. I'm certain this guy's going to be spamming the Murlocs out all day. Your soul shall be mine. We could have also tried to play Murloc Knight against him, but that's quite a risky play when, when they've got more of the Murlocs, because they're going to benefit from our Murlocs, we're going to benefit from theirs. But if all of the Murlocs are benefiting from both sides, and there's more Murlocs on the opponent's side, then they're going to get more of a benefit. <laughs> You're going to translate that one for us to Finley, or is uh, perhaps best kept from our sensitive ears. Oh, look at this guy! He's so cute! Ah! Oh. What a cute chap. Hmm. It's very tempting to, uh, to run out the Iron Beak Owl so I can trade this in. But, uh, But uh, there's going to be like better things to silence probably down the line uh, in this big old Murloc deck, so perhaps not the best option. We'll take out the tiny fin because at best, like this guy goes up to three attack, we can still trade into him. See, look at this. He can't draw the cards. Also, this plays at the start of turn, so we can actually just make sure that we're playing out enough cards a lot of the time. Just playing out some raiders. That's not too scary, really. I mean, there's a lot of them, but it's not uh, not too bad in the grand scheme of things. I'd love to get a knife joker and another thing out, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So perhaps, in lieu of that, we should uh, see what's in here. Doctor Boom is in here. Do you want to completely control the board? I guess maybe we shouldn't have drawn a card. Maybe that was a bad play because now he's going to draw two cards. I'll bear that in mind for the future. Try and play your cards rather than than tapping the way I would ordinarily do. Like normally I'd be a little bit greedier there, but perhaps not the best option against old Giant Finn here. Okay. Well, the the Void Caller does well here, but it does let them. Well, no. In fact, he'll draw before then, so he won't gain another card on top of that. So uh, we, we can get away with this, I think. Because he'll draw, then play this. Not going to draw any extra cards. Okay, that went well. Summon three Murlocs there. Oh gosh, that's a little bit scary. <laughs> oh, these tiny fins are adorable. Their little tiny little swords. Ah, uh, they're not very good, I don't think. I mean, it's better than the Wisp. It's the ultimate power creep, right? Because it's uh, now it's uh, got a class type as well. Um, Sea Giant. I mean, it, it, like it's not necessarily the pick, but I think it may be the pick anyway. Wait, hang on. If I play a two-cost minion first. Oh no! I killed that. Oh. I was like, I'll kill this, and then I can knife juggle, and then that'll work. But, uh, of course, that doesn't actually. So, uh, my knife juggler plan is foiled. I was going to play the knife juggler, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't hit the three attack thing. The three health thing. <laughs> and instead, I should have just, um... Should have just taken the risk. Oh, that, that, that's a terrifying... A terrifying card to face up against. Imp Gang Boss. Okay, we want to get down to four cards, so we only need to spend one to do that, so we'll probably actually end up spending more than that. So that means we can we can afford to draw a card if we want. Okay. 
Um, how do I want to do this? There's a lot of damage if we, we... We can't really afford to just keep taking all this damage. So... Like we could play the Dire Wolf Alpha here, and I think we we probably should to stop him drawing a card. Um, yeah, it's not ideal because it can die to one of these. Oh, we do get a knife juggler out of it, I suppose. So it does kill another minion. Makes it harder for this chap to. Uh... Oh, getting that one first is a big deal. It's gonna get buffed up. Just so many, uh, so many chaps coming in over and over and over. But, uh, that's fine. We've currently got 11, 12, 13, 17 damage, which is not quite enough. So maybe we take this chap out. We make the big threat on the board and say, like, can you deal with that? Probably not. Look at that, forcing the big trades. It's looking good. Don't know what this last card is. Okay, that's fantastic. Well, bam! We managed to make it past Giant Finn. Good stuff. Finley, come out of that corner, you quivering wreck. A share with a better upbringing, you could have been a decent sort. You know, you're right. We shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't judge him too hard, but we do get anything can happen. And uh, we get the lovely Murloc Tidy Finn as well. Anything can happen is an interesting, uh, interesting card. I mean, it doesn't even show it off once you've once you've unlocked it. But it's the uh, one that gives you uh, summon seven Murlocs that died this game. You could do some fun stuff with it. Nargacy, which is a very interesting card. I'm uh, I'm intrigued to see it in action. But um, she Let's here she is. Like she she one of like a. Uh, the leading mistress of the Naga, I guess. Lady Nazjar. Pearl of the Tides. At the end of your turn, replace all minions with new ones that cost one more. Is that just for her or for everyone? Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess we should be kind of minion focused again. We try the, the Beast Hunter out. See how that fares. Miss Nazjar, you've got nothing on Rexar and Lord Finley Murgleton. We're going to claim our orb for the staff, and I'm sure nothing bad will happen after last week's ominous ending. That weird, mysterious voice that sounded rather pleased about how close we were to completing our completing our staff. Finley, how do you feel about killing all these Murlocs? Also, why do the Naga all fight with Murlocs? Whoa! That's a hell of an animation. Okay, so it's for everything. Okay, interesting. So she she played these two uh, naught mana things and got one mana things. That's kind of that's kind of clever. I like that. So here we get the the snake trap out, and we trade into the the slightly more dangerous one. Like this is potentially interesting because of the destroying the Murloc is. Uh, kind of fun. I actually think you can play this in a in a Murloc deck if you want to. It's kind of a novel idea. So here's my theory. Trades in here. We get these uh, naught mana one ones, but they're all going to become one mana creatures in a sec, and that should work in our favour. Big splash. Look at this. An Argent Squire, Murloc Tide Caller, and a Goldshire Footman. Reno's back with the Rod of the Sun and Brands on his way. Wait, how did 
How have they not got back yet, despite the fact we've gone to two different places? But she said Reno's already back. Brand's on his way. We're a lot faster than they are to get around, it seems. Uh, Eagle Humbo would let us kill this right away. The Animal Companion could also be pretty potent, though. And uh, these are going to get replaced anyway, so there's no real downside to trading in and having the, the, the damage other than you know what happens on the turn. So maybe we're better off getting a minion on the board. And then uh, we can we can make like this trade in. We can we can lose one of our guys, and then this way we'll get bigger stuff going forwards. And I wanted to keep the Murloc out, obviously, because it's going to get buffed by any Murlocs that come in. See, this is the thing that was a stupid thing to do by our old Miss Nasjar there, because everything gets healed on the end of the turn. So you want to not trade in unnecessarily. Sadly, we've got no minions we can play here, but uh, we do get a coin. Oh no, in fact, we do, because we get a coin. Uh, none of these are beasts, though, disappointingly, so Ram Wrangler, not going to work out too potently for us, but we can whip out a Stranglethorn Tiger, which is going to be like a six drop next turn, and most of the six drops are reasonably solid, especially when, because it happens at the end of Lady Nasjar's turn, we get straight in with these exciting six drops. There's a lot of cool six drops that. Crikey! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Lord Finlay. Uh, so we ended up getting Gelbin Mechatork as our six drop, which is okay. Uh, and I think I think I was going to say is there's a lot of six drops which are kind of good when they come in, but um, benefit more once they get a chance to attack. So the fact that they can attack straight away. It's pretty solid. We got a pirate. And uh, and that's it. So no, again, no beast. Though we can make a beast if we want. Um, how do we want to trade in here? Bear in mind that trading in is going to be beneficial to us. Well, we should use our eagle horn bow, really. Uh, because we're going to be able to take this out without losing anything. Um, we can take out this chap. And uh, we'll play the King's Ella. There we go. We probably could have killed Lady Nasjar there. We did have, we did have this ten damage, but that's no fun. On a, we're only on turn five. I want to see what else she's got going on. I want to see what our seven drops going to be. You now I'm excited about this. We're in a good position. We've got a captured Jawmonger now. Right? Should we, uh, should we uh, wrap things up then? See what we get from the old Ram Wrangler. Oh, of course, the big old Stone Tusk Boar. Fantastic. Well, we've got 8, 13 damage right there. So there we go. Bosh. 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 You hunt alone, except today when you were adventuring with Mr. Finley Murgleton. How the pearl didn't save you, Lady Nurse Jaw. The Hall of Explorers, and we shall assemble the artifact together. Sounds good. Let's head back. You get the Pit Snake and the Naga Sea Witch. Your cards cost five, and of course, the Pit Snake we just saw, the 2 1 with a death touch effectively. It uh, kills anything that it damages. Boom! Here we go. And there we are, Sir Finley Mogleton himself. And the Jungle Moonkin, which gives both players plus two spell damage. I think it's kind of a fun idea. You know, having quite a potent spell damage. It's like a slightly better version of um, the, the standard 4-4 four, four, plus one spell damage, the Ogre Magi. Uh, except it goes to both players. But Druids can benefit a lot from spell damage. They've got a lot of very potent damage spells. And we get three class challenges this week. Look at that. Fantastic. Explorers, we've done it. Great! Well, that's it. We can go home now. The staff of origination is complete. Hey, what? Hello, Explorer. Uh-oh. I am Rafal, the supreme archaeologist. It's a good title. For finding my staff. The supreme archaeologist. What's happening? Oh. 
He just nicked it. He didn't demonstrate anything. Oh no. Well, we'll have to find out what's been going on in the Hall of Explorers. But, I mean, that's next week. But in the meantime, we've got those class challenges to look forward to. So we'll jump into those next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. This has uh, been a pretty fun one. We've uh, It's all just straight flights this week. Nothing too weird. But uh, some interesting concepts. I think they're going to be pretty fun in, in Heroic. Um, we could take, I guess we could take a little peek and see what the Heroic uh, abilities of them are. Just quickly here. We didn't actually uh, check through these last time. We got this guy, just going to summon another Hungry Naga, so you don't get to see what his power is. This guy just draws two cards, which may be better or may be worse. I guess, m assuming that you're going to play against it, drawing two cards is, is a better thing to do. And this one, yours cost one more. I presume that means hers cost one more because it's her hero power. That would make more sense, unless her minions are very, very strong. But there we go, that's uh, that's the League of Explorers, week number three. And now finally, we get to, we're gonna, I guess we're going to have to fight up against this grand archaeologist in week four, Rafarm. So stick around for that, but there'll be class challenges coming up before then. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to pop that like button, subscribe to the channel for more Hearthstone and other games, and I'll see you soon. Ken out, Explorer.